Hello everyone, this is Christy of Individualized Visuals. I just want to give you a quick video tutorial on how to use this self-checking EQAO practice activity. Not only is this activity self-checking, but it also gives tips on how to answer questions and also explanations on any questions that they get wrong. The best part is, Students can do this activity completely independently without any teacher or parent support needed. So let's get started. So first things first, click on slideshow mode. And then it'll make it big for you. So then I'm just gonna press my right arrow key to go to the next page. Um, teachers and parents, I strongly recommend that you read this how to use page because it does explain how to use this self-checking activity properly. But right now I'm just going to explain it for us visually. Okay, so this is the first question. Question one, this is Tim's money. How many quarters can Tim trade at the most? Hmm, so if I'm a student, I'm thinking, okay, you know, this is kind of tricky. So I want to go to the help button. So this student here with the hand up is just a help button. I'm just going to click it and then it'll redirect me to this page. So then this just gives the student a little bit of tips on how to go about answering the question without giving them the exact answer. So once they read the steps, they can quickly go back to the question by clicking the arrow key. So it's very important that they click on this button and not press their left and right arrows on the keyboard because that will not work. Okay, so I'm going to click on this arrow here to go back to the question. And okay, so let's just say I get this question wrong. Okay, so I'm just gonna click on, hmm, I think it's 15 quarters. Oops, okay, that's okay. It's totally fine to get some answers wrong in the beginning. So here I actually go through step-by-step step how the student can answer the question. So not only are they gonna know the correct answer, but they're gonna know how I got there. Okay, perfect. So now that this is finished, they read through it. Okay, they understand how to answer. They are going to click on the next arrow. Remember, don't press next on your arrow key on the keyboard, but just click on the arrow on the screen. Okay, so it goes to question two. So they're going to read the question. And again, if they need any extra help, they can click on this little girl over here and it gives them some instructions. Then we're gonna go back. Say this time I get the answer correct. Hmm, what happens? I click on C. Oh, correct, perfect. So now we're gonna click next to go to question three. So this is basically how you can complete this activity on your own, completely not needing any parent or teacher support. This activity has 10 whole questions, but there is a little bit of difference when it comes to question nine and 10. So the thing about EQAO, it's not all about just multiple choice questions like this. They also have a little bit of wanting the student to write what they are thinking or to show their work. So for questions like this, this is the only time that the student will need to click escape on their keyboard and then they're going to type it out. So for example, they finish writing their answer they can click off the page and then go back into slideshow mode. And it'll take them right back to the question. And then who has more candy? Oh, I think Tatum. Correct. And then we click next. And then this is exactly the same thing, but instead the student's going to click escape and they're just simply gonna type the number here. Click off the screen, go back to slideshow, and then they will click on, for example, say I get this one wrong, just so you can see what happens again. Okay, no problem. It tells you how you can go about answering the question. Click next. Oh, and then now we are all done with this activity. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you would like 
a link to this activity, you can visit individualized visuals on teacherspayteachers.com. And you can also find more activities from me if you want to visit my website or find me on Instagram.